Encryption is the method of turning something that's understandable into something that's gobbledygook. It's a way of locking up information such that unless you've got the key to the lock, you can't turn it back into something that's understandable again. Probably the best analogy is think of a padlock. I take my padlock, I lock my box up, I keep the key and I send it off with the, with, with the padlock on it. That actually brings about a small problem though, which is how do I get the key to you? It's almost as difficult a problem as securing the message in the first place. Because if someone can intercept the key or make a copy of the key, then obviously they can unlock the padlock. It wasn't really until Diffie and Hellman came up with, they wrote a paper in the late 70s called Directions, New Directions in, in Cryptography. And they said, how do we stand this problem on its head? How do I get that key to you in plain sight, such that um, you can then unlock this padlock, but at the same time, nobody else can. Probably the best metaphor there I can give you is that the Diffie-Hellman key exchange, as it was called, and is still used today. Imagine mixing paint colors. We both agree a common color. Oh, I don't know, some, it, it, could, be, it could be any color, but that color is public. Um, I then mix my private color. You don't even know my private color, only I know my private color, and you mix your private color with that public color. We then exchange that. And because of the difficulty of unmixing paints, even though people know what that original paint we mixed our private color with was, they can't tell what our private color was. So you and I now have a secret, a shared secret that nobody else can, can guess, can unscramble because they can't unmix the paints. There's encryption in everything we do that's electronic, not just on the web, um, but if you communicate over any kind of network, mobile networks, the internet, whatever, it, it will be using some form of encryption to try and make it secure. The reason people really ought to be aware of this is not just because they're dependent upon it, is that there's a big, there is a debate going on. Let's imagine that end-to-end -end encryption. Let's suppose you and I are two criminals and we're committing some dastardly deed or exchanging some dreadful information. How can it be that the law enforcement agencies can't get access to that? And they can't because the encryption is that strong and that good. And the way it's set up is deliberately meant to be so that they, nobody, even if somebody went along to the companies that, whose service we're using with a warrant, they can't, they can't divulge the, whatever it is that's going to give, give our secret away. And so people are going to have to really understand it to a certain extent because they're going to be asked, there's a public debate, it happens regularly and governments come around it regularly. Um, and they try and they try and say, right, we're going to put legislation in place that says that um, we're going to ban encryption. Well, you can't ban encryption. Encryption is an idea. There's an argument that says, um, because there's so much communication going on in the world, we really need to hoover it all up and then sift through it and see, you know, whether somebody's talking about, you know, blah, blah, atom bomb, blah, blah, terrorist attack, whatever it might be. However, that also means that they're going to be looking at everything else. Um, and it's about whether you're comfortable people doing that. Now, people, pe people will often say, well, if I've got nothing to hide, I've got nothing to worry about. Well, regimes do change. And one of the problems with so much data is it's very easy to keep it. Um, and we've seen in recent times how regimes can change on a dime. And all of a sudden, something that wasn't considered illegal, uh, attending a rally, um, suddenly might be used to discriminate against someone. Um, so you've got to be very careful because that forward secrecy is really terribly important. And a lot of the encryption schemes that are out there at the moment do try and have that forward secrecy.